Why, hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And Damien, Angela Sidekick. And today we're over here at a brand new village called Ascension Incline by Pulte Homes. They expect to open June 8th, but we get to have a nice sneak peek, which we have been. Yes, we have. We've been working lucky. with the Pulte rep, Mary Berry, and she's been showing us these homes, so we've been super lucky. And the first house we're going in backwards because people started showing up is the Cessna or Cessina. How do you say Cessna. that? Cessna. 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 They had this one modeled over here, over at the um, Carmel Cliff community in the Red Point Village. And this one, and they're all single stories incline, has 2875 square feet with four bedrooms, three and a half baths three car garage which is pretty cool love the modern aesthetics of ascension because toll brothers is also in this community so they wanted to kind of match what toll brothers looks like now there are going to be a total of let's see how many lots in here 119 lots and again four different floor plans to choose from the clubhouse is slated to be completed spring of 2026 and the monthly HOA is going to be $320 a month, where $255 goes to Ascension and $65 goes to Summerlin South. There are no SIDS, which is awesome. Never heard of a village in Summerlin have no SIDS. Sassina. Sassina. So we were wrong. So as you walk in, you have the nice tall ceilings. They have this as like a little dining room area or whatever you would like to call it. They have the nice wood fluting and then there's a bedroom to the back. We'll look at the bedrooms last. We're gonna keep on moving forward. And the Carmel Cliff, they had this um, with glass. They had that closed in. nice kitchen now because of the elevation this is the more modern elevation the ceiling is a lot higher i think it's like what 16 feet That's what I think so, yeah. yeah so if you had a different elevation then the cabinets wouldn't look as high and this is the tallest that the cabinets will go we have a client that's buying in the point so we went to the pulte design studio a couple weeks ago and was able to show it so they put the a nice a home. I don't know if this is granite. It's granite. Yeah. Waterfall with these flat panel wood cabinets. They made them soft clothes. And the appliance package that they're using is Signature. And I do believe this is the upgraded Signature appliance package with the um, oven, cooktop, and range hood. I like what they did with the backsplash. That's pretty. And then they also have the 48 inch upgraded signature sub zero refrigerator. And then with the extra appliance package, you're going to have the wall oven and a conventional microwave. Now, when you go to the design studio, you're going to have different appliance package options. Okay. And you're gonna pick, when you go there, those appliance, pack, appliance packages, as well as what countertops you wanna use, what cabinets you wanna have, how tall you want the cabinets to be. You're gonna also have your lighting package and you're gonna pick extra like recessed lights that you want, if you want any pendant lights. And then obviously you pick your flooring and everything else. This is a custom work with the pantry, so the pantry will not come like this. They just show you what you can do with it. It's very dark. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then you have the fireplace, which is an upgrade. Now, because this is a model home, these will never be an option. They just showcase what you can hire an interior designer to do. It does not come like that when you go to the design studio. And then they also have a nice seating area. Let's look at the rest of the house and then we'll look at the um, everything else, the backyard. So this has the den right here. Nice built-ins. I love the linear windows. Yeah. And then here's the primary bedroom. 
all the way to the back of the house. That's cool what they yeah. did that. It's a little smaller primary bedroom. And then they have the two separate sinks. The nice sub-zero shower with the rain head and the bench as well. Now Pulte, now this is a, a common thing what Pulte does is they put the shower head on the side like that. Yes. They did this at a park lane over in Talbona. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't like it because it'll hit the glass. Yep, right here. Yep. And then this is probably, I don't know if this is upgraded or this is what the closet would look like when you buy the house. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So when we went to the design studio, the flooring, man, let me tell you, it's expensive. Sometimes I tell my clients to just get the generic flooring that comes with the house and then you put your own flooring in it because my client's buying the King's Gate, over 4,000 square feet, and all flooring without carpet was over $100,000, which was kind of ridiculous. I like that you can put a refrigerator in here and this is actually an upgraded option to have the refrigerator sink and as well as appliances. The only appliances that do not come with the house is the washer, dryer, and refrigerator. If you want to spend extra at the design studio, you can. I bet you the garage is locked. Oh, no. So you have the tankless water heater plumbed for a water softener. And this is an extra cost to have the side garage door so you can have access to your gate right here. And if you want to put your trash cans or whatever. Interesting yeah, you could put a sink right here, but I don't, that could be an extra cost if they wanted to do that. And then the third car is opposite. All right, let's go to the other bedrooms back here. Okay, so you have a half bath and you have another bedroom back here with a closet, decent sized closet, as well as The guest bathroom that has the double vanity. Love the tiles. And the tub with the same tiles in the background. And the linen closet. So this option right here could be turned into a next gen suite. Can I see that paper? Yeah. Oh my yeah. All right, so here it has the guest suite with living optional game or an optional game room. So they designed this just like they did over in Carmel Cliff as a next gen suite, which I really like. And I like how they put the divider right here. Of course, I don't think you'll have that option when you buy this home. That's something you'll have to add afterwards. But nowadays, these, uh, you know, extra guest living is very popular. And it comes with its own ensuite. And obviously you can convert this into a shower or you have the option of converting it into a tub. And then a closet as well. Okay, the base price starting is $1,270,990. That's just the base price. That does not include any lot premiums or any upgrades that you will put in and more than likely you will end up putting at least 200 plus thousand in upgrades especially if the flooring costs that much so let's take a look at the backyard it comes with a nice covered patio they added four extra recessed lighting and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan again this is the model so the model backyard is going to be dirt lots Seems like a decent size lot size. I like this little fire feature here. They put in the turf. Typically when you buy a home that doesn't have the backyard done, a new construction, 
You have up to six months to a year to get it completed and you have to get approval through the HOA. The front yard does come landscaped and it does have two AC units. So it has a couple of zones in the house. And this one also has the, a stub for the barbecue. So to summarize, we're over here at Incline at Ascension by Pulte Homes. And this is a Cessina at 2875 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, three car garage, dining den, optional flex room. So this is an optional flex room. The optional guest living room is optional and they have an optional game room. Base price starting at 1.27099. If you're thinking about buying this community before you take a look at the models, they need to call me at... Call Angela so she can work her magic at 702-370-5112. If you look at these models and register without me, unfortunately, I will not be able to help you. That's the most important message I can say. But most actually, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And if you are thinking about it, I'm your Summerlin expert. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next side.